I am at South End on Sea right now, a British seaside town, which means that it's cold and it's grey and it's wet all the time, as you can see behind me. Except there is something a little bit special about South End on Sea. It's home to the longest pleasure pier in the world. 1.3 miles, over two kilometres. It's so long that it has a train to get people to the end. This South End Pier actually opened in 1890, so it's obviously a Victorian structure. And uh, during the course of that time, there's been three different types of train. Uh, the first being a horse-drawn train. From 1986 to the present day, these two trains, which are diesel hydraulic. We have a dead man, works the same as on a conventional train, and uh, this is moved around, and this is the actual uh, fully open position, but if you let it go, the train would come to a halt. The trains travel at about 10 miles per hour, and the journey from one end of the pier to the other takes about eight minutes. Yeah, the reason South End Pier is so long is because um, it has a six metre average tidal range. On low tide, ships can still pull in at the end of the pier because there is a deep trench. This is South End on Sea, and the longest pleasure pier in the world. <laughs> 